As of today, Eastern Shipbuilding Group was awarded a contract to begin work on their fourth offshore patrol cutter for the U.S. Coast Guard. Because of their progress on the three other cutters, Coast Guard awarded them that fourth contract. As News 13's Emma Riley tells us, this will make a large economic impact in Bay County. In September of 2016, Eastern Shipbuilding was awarded up to 11 cutters. But after Hurricane Michael damaged the business, the Coast Guard reduced the contract to four ships. The Coast Guard has been soliciting bids to build the next 11 cutters. Eastern Shipbuilding President Joey Desernia says they are up against all of the biggest shipbuilders in the nation. This is a really great milestone for Eastern Shipbuilding and for our community uh, because this truly has been a community effort to get to where we are especially since Hurricane Michael, and we're very proud of it. Each of these 370 feet vessels take three years to complete. They'll replace the 270 foot cutters currently in the Coast Guard fleet. Discernia says these contracts have a huge economic impact on Bay County. This is great for not only this, this company, our company, but for our community. Uh, we, this means long-term work, continued long-term work, uh, continued demand for skilled craftsmen and craftswomen, um, so it's jobs. It's a lot of economic impact, a lot of economic certainty. The contract to build all 25 cutters is worth more than $10 billion in federal funding. These aren't dollars that are uh, going from location A to location B within the state. These are dollars coming into our state. And uh, many, many, many millions of dollars uh, will go as direct wages to Bay Countyans. Uh, so this is a huge economic impact. Right now they are re-competing to build cutters 5 through 15, which would mean another decade of high paying jobs for the community. In Panama City, Emma Riley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Now the folks at Eastern Shipbuilding Group expect to physically start construction on the fourth vessel sometime this fall. Bay County